This microphone in front of me right now costed me $30 on Amazon, and in this video, I'll show you guys how to make any microphone sound much better for free in OBS Studio. Let's get into the video. Now, the first thing you guys wanna pay attention to is actually speaking into the front of the microphone. You wanna speak into the front where the logo is and where usually the volume button is. If you do not do this, your microphone is gonna sound something more like this. And if your microphone sounds like this, there's definitely something wrong with it and it sounds horrible. Make sure that you're speaking into the right part of the microphone. Now, once you have it placed directly at you and you're speaking right into the microphone, make sure to turn it a little bit so that your audio, your volume smoothly passes over the microphone. This is going to eliminate things like such as those hard P and S sounds get trapped in the capsule of the microphone and make it sound like garbage. After you have done this and you're good with the positioning of the microphone, you first want to know in the OBS studio on how your microphone actually sounds so you can hear to it and tweak your microphone. To do this, the first thing you want to go is click on the three dots in OBS studio, go to advanced audio properties, and go to audio monitoring and changes to monitor and output. After, After this, this, you should, you should be, be able, able to hear yourself, yourself in OBS, OBS Studio. Studio. Now that you're able to hear yourself in OBS Studio, my microphone will be sounding something like this. And this is very loud and not good because as I speak louder, it's going to be clipping. And if I speak very soft, you can just hear me just enough. So we want to be able to fix this. To do this, we want to make sure that our audio is actually in the yellow part. So to get in the yellow part, we're going to lower our gain. And as we can see, now the audio is in the yellow part when I speak normally. If it's not with your microphone, make sure to lower it even more. I'm going to bring it to minus 9 decibels. And now that the audio is in the yellow part, we're going to be adding some filters to the mic. To do this, simply click on the three dots, go to filters, and click on the plus button. The first filter we're going to be adding is going to be the noise gate. Now, what the noise gate is going to be doing is going to be taking those background sounds from our keyboard and mouse click and completely eliminate them. So in this case, without the noise gate, the microphone will be picking up keyboard sounds. And with the noise gate activated, this won't be the case. So after you've got your noise gate, you want to be adding a compressor. What this compressor is actually going to be doing is very important. It's going to make sure that your audio does not peak when you're screaming and does not go below a certain level when you're whispering or speaking really quietly. So once you add this compressor, click OK. You do not have to adjust any settings here. This should be fine. Although if it does not work well, obviously you can be changing settings according to how your microphone sounds in your headphones. Now after this, after the compressor, we're going to be adding a, another important thing, which is going to be the noise suppression. This thing can eliminate things such as constant sounds in your background. This could be your laptop fan, your fan, your, your AC units. It could be a washing machine, people speaking in the background, or even trucks or cars passing by. If you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, there's going to be an option for this, which you'll be able to choose. And if it's capable of doing it, please do choose that because it's very, very good. Now, if you don't have this, you can choose the low CPU usage or the high CPU usage. This does really depend on the PC you have and your capabilities of it. In my case, I do have a pretty decent PC, so I'll be choosing the good quality. This is going to eliminate things such as background noise, cars passing by, people speaking, or any console noise in the background, or just the white noise, the hissing of your microphone since it's cheap. Now, after you have done this, we're going to be adding the final and last filter, which is... A very, very important one that's going to make your microphone really sound like a professional one. And this is going to be the three band comp equalizer. This three band equalizer has the option to change your highs, mids, and lows. Now, what the highs are going to be doing is actually going to make our audio sound much more crisp. So if I hire the highs over here, I'm going to be sounding more like this. Obviously, don't overdo it. Get it to like plus three decibels. This really does depend on your microphone. I'll keep it at plus three. But as you know, if you go too high with it, it's going to sound very bad and way too crisp. So just keep it at plus three decibels. Now, coming back to the mids, when you reduce the mids, you're going to be sounding more radio-y and broadcast. Like you see those professional microphones, you're going to be sounding more like those. Obviously, do not overdo it again. Just lower it to like plus 2.4, 2.5. This is going to sound just as good. As you can see, you should already be seeing some difference in my tone. And obviously, if you higher it too much, it's going to sound like trash or if you lower it too much. So you generally just want to keep it like negative three. Coming to the low filter, this does really depend on your voice. If you have a very squeaky and not loud voice you want to hire this you can hire it as much as you want obviously don't overdo it because then it's gonna sound like rubbish just like now what you'll be doing it is actually for me i'll keep it at plus three or if you have too much of a deep voice you can actually lower it to make it sound much better i'll keep it around plus 2.5 this obviously is up to you guys and you guys have to hear it in your headphones and how the microphone sounds to you again we'll do a quick test of before and after this is currently how the microphone sounds with keyboard in the background and no filters applied and this is how the microphone with filters applied and still keyboard playing in the background sounds. Now, let me know which one you guys actually liked more. And if you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like. 
subscribe to the channel discord server is in the link down in below next to my twitch and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace out